Hey, what's up guys? Mikey here. I was just getting dressed this morning and I'm in a bit of a pickle. I forgot how to put on my belt. This is something that's never happened before. I've been using belts for as long as I can remember and yet I forgot how to put on my belt and I don't know what to do now. After the 41 episodes of Spongebob Squarepants Season 1, that can only mean one thing. It's time for Season 2. The season premiere of a season is important. After watching the previous season, you know if you want to continue watching that show or not. And if you do, you want the next season to start off in a memorable way that would keep the viewer's attention so they'd want to come back for the rest of the season. If it's season 1, the season premiere also serves as the series premiere and it would be the first introduction to that show as a whole. But that's not the situation in this case. Your Shoes Untie is the episode where Spongebob forgets how to tie his shoes and he struggles to relearn how to do it. This episode aired on November 2nd, 2000. This is also the season premiere of season 2 and features a song known as Loop De Loop performed by special musical guest Ween. There are a lot of other things that come into play in this episode. We see Penny the Pirate in the episode for the first time outside of the theme song, a slightly new approach to the production of the episodes themselves, the order in which the episodes air, and continuity breaks. But I'll get into these in a bit. Season 1 of Spongebob was a big hit, and on August 31st, 1999, the series was picked up for another season. Production started shortly after. Season 1 used cell animation, but starting with Season 2, they switched to digital ink and paint. It was just as effective as the cell animation, but also less costly. With the cell animation, if the crew member made a mistake, they'd have to wait for the paint to dry before making the correction. Sounds like me back in art class. This process was time consuming, and the digital ink and paint allowed the process to go much more smoothly, especially when making corrections like I mentioned. The season would premiere much later in 2000 after season 1 finished. While this is the first episode in the season in terms of this order, it wasn't the first episode that aired. The first episode of season 2 that aired was episode 44, Something Smells. We'll get into this later, but while season 1 started airing all its episodes in a completely linear format, it was also the only season to do that. Starting with this season, the episodes aired in whatever order they felt like. But that's not really relevant to what I want to talk about now, so let's watch this episode and see the first episode produced for Season 2. So the episode starts up and Spongebob watches a sea anemone dancing before Gary comes in and he changes the channel. I can relate to that too. Patrick comes in and shows Spongebob his new shoes. He then admits that he doesn't know how to tie his shoes and Spongebob decides to teach him. But when he starts to demonstrate, he realizes he forgot how to tie his own shoes. He says the first official rule is to always start with your right foot. Well, I broke that rule because I started with my left foot. Every time Spongebob tries to tie his shoes, he fails. Patrick leaves because he's late for the poop deck. Spongebob's shoes were tied for his whole life, so he thought that a good night's sleep will help jog his memory. When he woke up the next morning, he still didn't remember, and when he tried to go to work, he couldn't walk even one step without tripping. At the Krusty Krab, Spongebob still tried to hide the fact that he still hadn't tied his shoes. Forget that. How did Patrick get his crabbing patty before Spongebob even got to the Krusty Krab? Spongebob got to the kitchen and realizes he still has to do his job. After he made a Krabby Patty, he tried to figure out how to get it to Squidward. All ideas failed, asking Squidward to come get it himself, scooting his feet millimeter by millimeter to Squidward, and just plain walking. Every time he tried to walk, the Krabby Patties flung into Squidward's mouth. The pissed customers asked a fat Squidward what the holdup was, and Squidward said that it was Spongebob's fault. Spongebob was miserable and thought he'd be fired as a result. The disgruntled customers left despite a pantsless Mr. Krabs trying to stop them. At least he's wearing underwear. Where's Squidward's pants? Squidward told Mr. Krabs that Spongebob caused the customers to leave, and Mr. Krabs called Spongebob out from the kitchen. Remorsefully and hesitantly, Spongebob admitted he forgot how to tie his shoes. When he asks for help, Mr. Krabs says he doesn't wear shoes. Spongebob runs all around asking all sorts of other people for help, but unfortunately, nobody else could help because they didn't wear shoes either. Not even Penny the Pirate. Spongebob desperately screamed about wanting to learn how to tie a knot, since nobody else could give him any help at all. The Flying Dutchman appeared and asked Spongebob about tying knots. I thought he wanted to tie his shoes. The Flying Dutchman shows Spongebob all kinds of knots, since he is the champion of the knot tying contest 3,000 years in a row. 
Several knots later, the Dutchman says he doesn't know how to tie his shoes. Called it. He laughed evilly and left, leaving SpongeBob sad. As he crawled home, Gary tried to talk to him, but SpongeBob wasn't in the mood. Gary roared like a lion and showed SpongeBob that he does know how to tie shoes. What perfect timing! I just figured out how to put on the belt. I figured it out by putting the belt through these belt loops on my jeans. Now I'm sure I won't forget again. SpongeBob asked him how he learned to do that, and Gary played a record for SpongeBob explaining how to tie shoes. The song played throughout a montage explaining to kids how to tie their shoes, showing different analogies and great animated sequence, and as the song ends, the episode ends too. So that was Your Shoes Untied, and I think that this is an awesome episode. It's a pretty good start to season 2 as well, but I'm not sure if this was intended to be the season premiere of season 2 or not. But either way you slice it, it's still a good episode. There are so many great things to love about this episode. Some of my favorite scenes have always been when Spongebob tries to walk with his untied shoes, but couldn't walk a single step without falling. The same applies for the part where the Krabby Patties are flung into Squidward's mouth and he just belches so loudly and hilariously. I also love the part when the Flying Dutchman tells Spongebob to stop staring at him and his eyes shrink. The Loop de Loop song is awesome, and another part I was always excited to watch. I think that whenever there's a song in an episode, it pretty much becomes the highlight of the episode for everybody. Not only is the song catchy as all hell, but the animated sequences during the montage are so well done in my opinion. The scene at the beginning with Spongebob changing the channel is of course very funny, and so is the part where Gary roars like a lion. I like all the scenes with Patrick in them too, from when he breaks down the doors with his shoes like a battering ram, to when he's eating a Krabby Patty with a shoe on his hand. I also love that we see the Flying Dutchman again, and learn that he's great at tying knots. It's a small part of his character that we don't really see again after this episode, but it's still nice to learn. If I were to say anything negative about this episode in particular, it would be his inability to walk with his shoes untied is a bit odd. Sometimes he can't walk at all, but he can lift his legs and make holes in the floorboards at the Krusty Krab and walk while making the holes longer. But that's just a nitpick and that clearly doesn't affect my enjoyment. It's also weird how Spongebob doesn't remember to tie his shoes in this episode, but he was shown doing it 7 episodes ago in episode 35, Rock Bottom. Now yes, I know the show doesn't give a shit about continuity, and you could argue that this episode takes place before Rock Bottom, but you get my point. And this is not me trying to make a complete Spongebob timeline, this is me talking about an episode of my favorite show. Since this is the first episode of season 2, it is clear just by watching a season 1 episode back to back with this episode. The animation looks a lot better. Of course the animation should improve as the seasons go on, but since the show went from cell animation to season 1 to digital ink and paint starting with season 2, it does make a huge difference once you know this fact. Not saying that it's a bad change or that season 1 doesn't have good animation, but it's still a clear difference. Now in terms of when the episodes aired, in some cases I can understand why they'd switch up the airing order compared to the numerical order. For example, if they only aired the first 6 episodes from season 2 before December 2000 and nothing else, the show's first Christmas episode, aka episode 56, Christmas Who, wouldn't air for another year. And since every episode of the show tries to be a standalone episode, I can understand why the episodes don't always air in numerical order. Some seasons, the episode airing order isn't too screwed, but the airing order for a season like season 12 makes me angry just thinking about it. I know that's irrelevant to this episode, but I just wanted to throw out my basic thoughts about it now since I talked about a season 2 episode. And now that I stated that, time to wrap things up. I think this episode is a great start to season 2 even if they didn't intend on starring this season with this episode. There are a lot of funny scenes, an awesome song, and some great moments that do expand on some of the characters. And since this episode starts off a new season, which is meant to expand on the characters and the world of the series, that technically does do that, we will see more of this as the season goes on, but in my opinion, this is still a really good start to the season. Your Shoes Untied is a really great episode. It's a good season premiere for season 2 of the series. It's really funny and has a couple nice character moments, which is always something that's nice to see. And the song is awesome. And that's pretty much all I have to say about the episode right now. And now with that out of the way, I'm so glad I remembered how to put my belt on again. Now I can finally keep my pants up.
but I took my necklace off because I got sweaty and I forgot how to put it back on.